The Website Development Badge specifies that you should include an announcements or blog page on your website. The purpose of this is to inform parents and students of what is going on in the classroom and give them an opportunity to subscribe to updates. In Wix, you do this by first creating a blog with this button down here. You may need to set up your blog if you haven't done so already. Once you've done this, your blog will appear as a page on your regular website, and you can navigate to it here. On your blog, your announcements will appear in reverse chronological order, and you can adjust the way these announcements look. You also need to add a subscribe element to the blog. The way you do that is by going to Add, and then clicking on the Contact menu, and clicking on this Get Subscribers element. This will enable users to type in their email address, hit subscribe, and then automatically receive any new posts that you create in your blog. You can customize this by clicking the settings button and you can change where the emails are sent to you. You can change whether or not you receive a notification when subscribers subscribe to your blog. You can also change what exactly each of the texts and fields on this little form say. You can change the layout and design of your box so that it will look exactly the way you want it to look. You can also add emails which will trigger automatically when someone subscribes or when some other type of action happens. On your blog, you're also asked to comment on one of your posts. To do that, you need to first go ahead and publish your site and then go to the live version of that site. Once there, you can go to your blog, select a blog post, and then there will be commenting options down here at the bottom. Users would need to log into Facebook, Discs, or some other type of commenting platform in order to make a comment. You can change the type of commenting platform that you're using by going once again to the um, Add button, go down to Blog, and then scroll down to uh, your Comments widgets, which are right here. 